very excited. Here we go. Yay. It's Kylie Vitucci Stamping Up Demonstrator with you today and welcome to another YouTube live. How is everyone? I've just realized I've left the door open so I'm going to shut that. I'm going to climb over my boxes in my room because I've got a bit of show and tell to give you today. I want to I want to share a few of the exciting things that have been going on in the Petucci household because there's always something to share, isn't there? Always. So I hope all of your weeks went well this week. I had some amazing things turn up. Who else is here? We've got Tanya, Trish, Karen. I love it when they're all saying, hi, Karen. <laughs> Good to see you all. Ah, oh, so lovely. Teresa's here as well. That's awesome. Please say hello when you jump on. I know that we have a lot that just like to watch from the comfort of no commenting. <laughs> but we love seeing your comments. We love to see you say hello and jump in. Hi, Megan. Good to see you. Yay. Oh, Carolina Evans is here as well. Hi, Carolina. Good to see you all. So this week I placed an order for some exclusive Stampin' Up! product, which I think you're going to be very excited to have a look at. I've got a bit of a different setup, and so I, I'm trying to work out where to look because I, my camera has changed. Hopefully you can see that the quality is better. That's what I'm hoping because I've used the back of my camera rather than the front. So it's looking, it's looking all right on my screen, which is good. I'm going to pop that up there so that I can see real time what's going on. I think I finally have got everything worked out with my room. It's only taken, I don't know, maybe seven years or so of trial and error. <laughs> And things keep changing, so it's really challenging to keep up. Now, I, as I said, went shopping and got some really cool items. And you may have seen it on my Instagram. If you didn't, um, then I thought, I'm going to show it here as well so that you can all see it as well. Now, I'll just pop up my link to Instagram just so that I sometimes have like behind the scenes type things, um, things that you don't see on here, a little bit more casual than my Facebook lives, so my um, YouTube lives, so you can jump over there and have a look. And if you're watching on Facebook, by the way, this is a replay, I do the actual video live on YouTube. Um, so if you ever want to come along to my YouTube video and you're watching on Facebook, I'm sure you can see the link. I'll make sure I add it. <laughs> Uh, so let's have a look at these goodies because <laughs> there's so many things. Oh, sorry about my hair today. I literally just woke up and I haven't done anything with it today. I'm like, you know what? The girls, they'll all forgive me. I'm just like, whatevs. <laughs> that's what that's what we do around here. We're just like, yeah, I just got up out of bed. It's time to do some crafting now. Now, this is so exciting, these little goodies that I got from Stamping Up. So firstly, I love this bag. Can I just say, this is a uh, Stampin' Up! lunchbox bag, but it is so much bigger than I expected. So we've renamed it the Gin Box Bag. <laughs> I'm going to be making sure I, I put some gin in here because it's going to keep it cold. It's really important to have cold refreshing gin <laughs> yes we need that <laughs> but isn't it beautiful it's so pretty and these are all exclusive merchandise and exclusive product from Stampin' Up so if you want to get your hands on these goodies these extra goodies that only demonstrators can get then it's a good time to think about joining Stampin' Up have some awesome extras for demonstrators and I do too our team we look after our customers really well but we have extras that we like to give to our team members like crafting monthly and the card that I'm making with you today is actually based on one of the craft classes that we did with our team this month the wonderful Sue Vine she's one of my team members 
she ran the class for us on Zoom and we do that every month, which is super awesome. Now, I've also got this one here, which I thought was really, I'm very, very excited about this one. So it's like a, a planner pad and it has enough room for each square for the days of the week. And I can do my to-do lists, I can do shopping lists, I can do what work I need to get done. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to using this. I know some use their grid paper, but this is kind of like a mashup of a grid paper and that one on that design there. So there's two designs and it's a super thick piece of planner. I don't think it would necessarily be the best for using as grid paper because the boxes are a little bit scribbly. So I might, <laughs> I might put a little note to stamp it up and say, next time can we make sure that they're straight so that we can use it for grid paper and a planner? It could have dual purpose, but I'm happy to just use it as a planner. So it's kind of good in a way because then I won't use it as grid paper and just get grid paper for grid paper and separate the two. So that's really cool. Uh, what else did I get that was that was fun? So I've got these brochures here. They call them recruiting brochures, but I've used them for a few different things and I've even, you know, sent it to friends and things like that, put in letter writing. They're just so pretty. So um, I got this and as many of you know, I've even got, they've even got like a little mouse pad that goes with it. How cool is all this logo stuff? I'm just so excited that Stampin' Up! have all of this pretty stuff. So it pretties my room, which is really nice to have a craft room with all these extra prettiness items around. And then I also got this stamp set, which is upside down. That's it there. And what's this one called? Let's Create Together. And what I love about this one is it's perfect for our new team members um, also for customers, thanking them for their order. Um, I absolutely love the font in this and we're going to be using this quite a lot. I'll just zoom in here a bit and see if you can see it all there. So welcome to our team, to the Stampin' Up! family. Congratulations on your achievement. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Thanks for your order. So cool. And it does have the um, little Stampin' Up! logo on this side here so if you're doing your own handmade cards that's what you need to add if you're selling cards and then that will make you compliant for stamping up it does have the lines as well but that means you can write in your name and maybe even your blog address or something like that or a contact an email something like that so what's the big thing Oh, this big thing. <laughs> Is that what you mean, Carolina? It's a desk planner. This one. Is that what you mean? Because if that's what you mean, then yes, that's a desk planner. So that you can do, instead of having a diary, you just put it on the sheet. Like that can be my, my weekly planner and I can put each day. I mean, you can turn it into anything that you want, but it's just, it's got seven boxes for the seven days. And these two boxes down here are smaller, so they're good for your Saturday, Sunday, hopefully. Hopefully you're not working too hard on the weekend. Yes. So that is all found in the supplies list right now. So if you haven't seen all of those, then definitely go and check it out. And why am I showing you this? Well, because it's awesome to be a demonstrator. It really is it's like the best option so right now we have brand new product coming um, there's a brand new mini catalog that's coming out on Tuesday here in Australia for demonstrators so if you wanted to be involved in being able to order that then it's time to become a demonstrator and then you get a discount as well so that's the new catalog so I've highlighted this a little bit this week because I want everyone to know, particularly those ones that live in Australia, that if you want to get your hands on new product early and get a whole month of discounts, 
then it's well worth it. I know that celebration time, if you want to wait, you can wait because they usually have some sort of joining special. However, by the time you have a month of saving and a month of sort of adjusting to being a new Stampin' Up! team member, you've probably saved the amount that you're going to get back from Stampin' Up! anyway. Look, if they have a free bundle or a free stamp set or a free something, a bit extra, um, you'll save that money in December. So it kind of equals out. Same, same, just a little bit different. <laughs> and then you never know, you might end up finding someone who wants to join for the special. <laughs> I didn't end up ordering the, the um, cardigan, Megan. I, I really should do that before, because now it's summer. But um, yeah, I really need to do that ready for winter. <laughs> yeah, they even have clothing, Stampin' Up! clothing. How cool is that? <laughs> So yes, it's a good time to be a demonstrator. That's our suggestion. Now, some of you may know, yes, yeah, Stampin' Up! have clothing. <laughs> so good. Like card and they're beautiful patterned cardigans and things like that. So I'm definitely going to have to do a bit of a shop. Thank you for reminding me, Megan. <laughs> I can go and buy some more things. <laughs> Now this week some really cool things also arrived from Stampin' Up! which I am very excited about. And if you are a top 100 demonstrator uh, or you came in within the top 10 of your country, it's time to look away. I'm probably going to end up getting in trouble but you know what, I, I want to show you while I'm excited. <laughs> So if you know someone, don't share this video with them. <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'll put a little link up to where the crafting begins so they can skip this bit. But this is just another way for me to show you just how incredible this company is uh, because they're just so generous and so amazing. Um, Bruno, Jesse and I were able to um, be included within the top 100 globally in the world. Well, that's what globally means. But anyway, we were in the top 100 and Stampin' Up! sent us an amazing gift. So let me show you here what they sent to congratulate us on this amazing achievement. So, ready? I'm just zipping this up so that you can have a proper look with it, with it all zipped up. Okay, you ready? This is so big. I give you permission. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> what? Look how big this is. Isn't that beautiful? And this, I don't know what this material is, but it is so soft and beautiful. And randomly enough, it's like petal pink and gold, which is actually the card that I made yesterday. Maybe that's what made me think of those colours, but I added Knight of Navy in it as well. So really gorgeous, so thoughtful. They've even got the little card there, which I think is just brilliant. They've gone to so much effort for us all. And they've sent this to at least 100 people around the globe. Postage, the organization that's involved to get it all sorted. It's pretty amazing. And then excuse the crinkling, because it's still in a bag. But we also received this faux mink blanket. And it's all the way from Utah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's called a minky couture. Hence why I say faux. <laughs> because I saw minky on there and I was like, oh, minky. But no, it's not mink fur. It's faux mink. <laughs> we don't want real mink. And Stampin' Up! wouldn't do that anyway. I doubt it. And it even has the Stampin' Up! logo on there. So the dogs are definitely going, not going anywhere near this. This is too precious and too nice for them to even breathe on it. So, yes. Very, very exciting. Uh, we got to number 23, Cindy. 23! <laughs> I know, it's a bit random. <laughs> Especially because we're just doing something that we love and sharing videos and sometimes I have to pinch myself that this is our job. Sorry about the squeaky chair to us. I forgot to swap over my chair. 
<laughs> every now and then I remember and then every now and then I forget so I'm very sorry so I'm going to show you the gorgeous pins that came as well because they are just so cute I've already opened them of course but I'll move that out of the way okay but they came in the pizza boxes the gold pizza boxes which is a really clever and I'm totally gonna reuse them because you know that's what we do uh, I'll open all these up so there's all different pins that they've sent which are going to go on my little pin banner my collectors big pin banner so this one here is for sales can you see that one so it's got money 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 but in in the little card there it says what it's for as well so that's really cool then this one here Oh my goodness, my eyesight's so bad. Oh, this is the country overall. So we got one if we placed within the top five of Australia. So that was the... They really are expensive, Cheryl. I looked them up and I was like... Because I wanted to find out what material it's made of. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> they're really special. That's why I said my dogs are not going anywhere near those. <laughs> They are so soft and cuddly, yes. <laughs> no, just one for me, Diana. <laughs> but I'll share it. I'll share it with him. We can cuddle up together while we're watching movies on Netflix. I'll, I'll share it with him. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that's country overall, that little pin. So we'll pop that on our banner. Then this one here is Leadership, the little heart. So that's the leadership team building one. Isn't it cute? The little hearts. And then we've got, what's this one? Team building. So this is adding, adding new team members. The little fluffy bits just jumped out. So I'm just popping him back in. So that's adding new team members. And then the piece of resistance, which I think is so cute. Look at that one. The top 100. Yay. Um, Brenna just gets to share in my excitement. Diana. <laughs> because we're support, because he's a supporting demonstrator, it's like, the best way to explain a supporting demonstrator is it's like we're one. Like a marriage, you know. We, we share everything. So Stampin' Up! view us as one demonstratorship, not a separate demonstratorship. So he's not, he's not a demonstrator on his own. He's a supporting demonstrator. So we, we are both demonstrators together. I hope that makes sense. So there you go. That's all my goodies. Isn't that fun? So it has been a very exciting week. Um, plus I had a new phone arrive from Apple. So just so exciting and yes I'm using my new camera Bruno does it look good I think it's showing too many too much of my flaws I think it's too clear <laughs> can you see my pimple no <laughs> uh, hi crystal <laughs> good to see you Randy yay you made it <laughs> so what we're showing you today is our amazing um Z fold card that I learnt from Sue Vine, who is on our team. So we did a crazy crafters craft class together. Isn't this beautiful? <gasps> this is Peony Garden. So this is available now. You don't have to wait until 1st of December for this one, but I'll show you product that you will need to join for. <laughs> Just because I'm cruel. <laughs> Call me an enabler. <laughs> And then that's the inside, so that's where I'm gonna write my little message. And then this is the just a little extra bit here, which I thought was a bit of fun. Isn't that cool? It's so good. So you close it all up, and you could keep decorating for quite some time on this. Um, so I wanna show you how to do this today. And I've done a little prototype. I'm not sure if we, we can do choose your own adventure today. You can all, you can all um, tell me what you think I should do. Oh good, it's very clear, good. Because I'm using the back camera, which is a little bit different than usual, but I like it. So this is the card that I made at the actual class that I did with Sue. And this is a class that we run 
for just our team members and we have one of our talented team members run the class for us. Um, but, you know, we'll be getting some guests from time to time. I'm in the process of organising a few guests to come along and I thought that would be a, a lot of fun. So this is the card that I made the day we made our first Z Fold card. And what I love about this is it just looks so simple and gorgeous. And this is the new Fine Art Floral Suite, um, the flower. And the paper is actually the new Celebration paper, which, by the way, demonstrators will earn in December. I'm going to earn Celebration items a whole month earlier. So we get freebies all of December for every order we place. Uh, thank you, Denise. That's so awesome. Thank you. And then this is the inside. So I've got this section here as the writing on this one. But, you know, you can do whatever. You saw my other one. It was in the middle. And then the other side. What did I do in here? Oh, yes. So I decorated that. So it kind of, like, looks deceivingly simple and, yeah, clear and clean. But, yeah, I really like it. And I've used that cool stamp set. I cut pre-cut them out from that um, many messages stamp set. So I used a couple of them on the inside. So the thank you so much and just a card to say hello. I thought I'll put little messages on the inside as well, which is kind of a bit of fun. So we're going to make this together today. I'm not sure what stamp set we'll use, <laughs> but you can, um, you can direct me. I'll say, should we use this or this? <laughs> Um, but the other thing I wanted to show you too, you may have missed it, but if you sign up for our subscription on our blog, you won't miss a thing. So I'll put up the link for you to subscribe to our blog and that will just ensure that you get all notifications of all of our posts. But I did these cute little note cards. Let me line them up perfectly. Yes, I feel that that's right. Yes. So I made these cute little note cards and what I did was I did some scrappy strips and I did the strips on the card. Then I cut it out and made the next card. So I really love this idea of sort of utilizing any of your scraps because I know we all end up with a bit of designer series paper scraps. Even the tiniest ones can become a hero. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And that's the forever greenery um, suite that I've used with that one. And then I did these two as well. And they're just the three by three little note cards. And the best thing is, is that Stampin' Up! have envelopes that go with three by three cards. And so I just dressed those up with a little bit of scrap as well. And then I've got these cute little envelopes that go with these cards. So it's just a perfect little add-on when <clears throat> I'm sort of like, oh, I want to add something in a, into this little parcel or something like that. And I don't have anything sort of ready. Um, I mean, there's always something ready around here. <laughs> there's always a card here. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to have some little note cards if you just have a little message or something small that you want to put in. Like, thinking of you, love Kylie. Yeah, something like that. And some of you probably saw our video last week uh, using this gorgeous, gorgeous flowering bloom stamp set. In fact, I had a lot of customers purchase this stamp set after my enabling session. <laughs> did any of you did any of you get enabled and hear me say, I give you permission? You have my permission to to purchase this stamp set. <laughs> Because, yes, there was a lot of people that got the background set, the, the stacked stone, and even this one as well. So, um, I didn't use the adhesive sheets, Jess. I've never found with the strips, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm a Tombow girl. I can't help myself. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it. Yes, I could put them in the gold box. They would be beautiful in there. That's true. <laughs> Yes. And then the last thing I wanted to show you, of course, is our beautiful handmade card of the month. So just a big shout out to all of our wonderful customers. 
that purchased from us this month. It has been an epic month. Um, we had the sale and thank you for your understanding and your patience with the technical difficulties that came up. Um, it's just really nice to see that Stampin' Up! Um, responded so quickly and then extended it, which was really, really good. So this is the thank you card that we're doing this month for our wonderful customers to thank them. Um, and we can open this up and it's a gatefold card. So that's our customer card this month. So it will be ending very soon, but we'll have a new one that we're in the process of designing using some artistry blooms suite. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, we like to use the same thing that I've done for the bundle, which is always a good thing to do. Uh, so yes, that's, I think that's all the show and tell uh, other than the video yesterday, you probably saw on my YouTube that I did this card. Um, I ended up doing that video because accidentally I used bronze embossing powder that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> it looks very pretty. <laughs> I think Stampin' Up! should bring back the copper. <laughs> bring back copper embossing, Stampin' Up! But anyway, I used the gold and I just love it. With the petal pink, I think it looks hot, hot, hot. Um, so if you want to check that out, that's on our YouTube as well. All right, let's get crafting. So I will ensure that I put a little thing underneath the video and you can click on the link if you want to just go straight to crafting instead of hearing me jabber on. <laughs> oh, you like that one, Karen? Oh, that's good. <laughs> and um, Luann said that she did some knuckabilly, which is to go look for accidental unintentional shopping. We like that word around here. We love to knuckabilly. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> Uh, so let's show the camera facing downwards so that I can share with you some designs. So I think what I'm vibing, and maybe some of you can help me because I've already loved chopped some of this gorgeous fine art floral paper. And it is just beautiful. So we could use that. That's an option. Um, we also have, I've also got the new ombre paper that came. Now, this is going to be celebration paper that you can earn. So, um, I might just bring this down a little bit more because I feel like I keep chopping off my head when I sit down. <laughs> I'm like, where's my head gone? <laughs> uh, so, this paper is just so pretty and gorgeous. So, that's another one that we could sort of play with. So keep your choices here. So we've got Fine Art Floral, we've got Ombre. What else have we got around here that we can play with? What other designer series paper? I can pull out all sorts from this room. Ooh, I know, we've got some of that new masculine one. I've already put it away. I haven't put a lot away, but I did put that away. Um, I thought I opened a pack, but I mustn't have. Maybe not. Oh, no, there it is. I'm like, I'm sure I opened a pack. I always open a pack. <laughs> to Bruno's despair. <laughs> there we go. So that's the masculine one. So we could go masculine today using this card. What do you reckon? So they're the three that we can choose from. Choose your selection. Choose your own adventure. I learned this from Shannon West. I thought it was the coolest thing. And then Bruno can have a look and see what he thinks is the most popular. Ombre, fine art floral, just say floral, or the masculine one. This one is called Well Suited, I think it's called. Yes, Well Suited. Um, because this is kind of a geometric type cut, I think it would lend itself to a masculine card because of the the lines in it and the geometric but anyway we'll see what you all think and while you're doing that I'm going to chop some of this anyway because it needs to be loved and chopped it hasn't been loved yet I'll pull that over here so when I'm doing my love it chop it 
I always do the poppy parade size that's the size I like to use if you haven't got my card templates then yes I might just fair <laughs> Artistry Blooms, that could be another one. It's actually, I can't help myself, Britta. I want to play with new stuff. I can't, I can't play with, um, I can't play with old stuff when there's new stuff here. <laughs> oh, well suited or ombre. If you are saying floral, masculine. Masculine. Oh, some are saying masculine. Bruno, you're not going to win this time just because you put... I'll block you if you keep doing that. Because last time, everyone's like, you, should have, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'll put you in timeout. <laughs> I can do that from here. <laughs> I think I'm vibing masculine. I'm seeing a few masculine pop up. I think it would be a lot of fun to try this out. And I could put a little bow tie on there. It would be so cute. Because I love this way. And I haven't got to play with it yet. You know me. I like to play with things. So first thing I'd like to do, and probably the easiest thing to do with your designer series paper, is to chop it at six inches. And it just makes it easier to play with. And it's just easy to deal with. This type of paper is great because... Um, and also, if you've got the Stampin' Up! trimmer, it's fantastic because it's right where the guard is. So you can just line it up against the guard and you know that that's six inches. Probably the max I can put in here is four. I think I've got five, yeah. Let's see if it cuts four papers at once. <laughs> Bruno, <laughs> he's so cheeky. <laughs> artistry blooms, artistry blooms. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Bruno, stop it. I'll put you in timeout. You're you're spamming my feed. <laughs> yeah, that cut really well. I love this new trimmer. Just saying. Just saying. One, two, three, four. I can do another one with artistry blooms. I'll do another one later. Just for you, Bruno. But we want to play with new stuff. Look how much paper you get in a pack. Isn't it amazing? So much paper to play with. It's just gorgeous. So this one's probably the only one that I would be mindful of the pattern. But it really doesn't matter if you go, what way do I want it? Uh, I do like it being that way, so I'm going to cut it the opposite first, and then that's the way that it will end up being on the card. I am a portrait girl. I do and tend to go portrait. And when there's lines, I do like the lines to be vertical. So let's have a look at all this amazing paper. Yes, how amazing is that, Karen? Karen said something good there, that the acetate lines up with the paper. So beautiful. So I think if I was to do a really masculine front on this card, so that's really cool, even for the writing section. I'm going to use that for the writing. And I think I'm going to go with, because I'd like to do some sort of, yeah, I think I'm vibing that one. I do like that one. I do like that one too. It reminds me, these reminds me, remind me of all Bruno's ties and shirts. That one's so Bruno's shirt. So I think they're the ones that are my standout. Ooh, no, nah, that's it. That's the one I'm doing. It had me. It grabbed me and said, pick me. So all I need to do is just do the love it, chop it size, the regular size to start with, and then we can work from there. So I'll show you our love it, chop it size. If you cut that down, which is the poppy parade size, it's going to be different in every country. So don't 
copy my measurements if you see them on the screen. I oh, know you can't see them, so that's good. Because <laughs> she'll be like, what on earth is she cutting here? <laughs> and if you're not part of our Love It Chopper group, please come and join in. We'd love to have you. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? And I love that side as well. So I think I'll chop all of them up so that we've got lots of opciones. Now, the toughest thing with this card, I think for me, was this, the card base. I was so confused. I was like, how do I cut this diagonally? I was so confused, but I think I've simplified it in my head now. Hopefully I help you simplify it in your head because I was so confused. So there we go. I'm going to use that, that, and that. They're going to be my three three papers that I'm using on the card today. So what do you think? I think we should go for, we could go basic gray as the base, or we could even do a really dramatic black. I think um, basic black might look hot with this one. Let's do some basic black. Where's our black? Here we go. Need to open a pack. Open that up. So I had some sad news last night. Not like really, really dramatically sad. Like real life sad. Just stamping up sad. I lost one of my stamps. All of you will understand. You'll commiserate with me, won't you? <laughs> I can't find it. And ironically, you know what the stamp said is called or the little sentiment that's missing i miss you so random I'm like where on earth did it go so i'm just hoping it magically turns up somewhere have you lost just any of your um stamp stamps at all so what i'm doing is i'm measuring at 6.5 all for our american peeps you could probably do, because your paper's a little bit wider, probably do it at three inches. Yeah. That can be one side, right? But it really doesn't matter. The the Like, once you realise that, that the height does not matter, then it's not too stressful. You could actually literally eyeball this, and it would be fine. So I've just done a little mark on the top here. I use my, because it's the... Um, black I've just done you've done it with the chalk marker because otherwise I can't see it you could score it if you wanted to if you didn't want it on there but and then what you do is you just line up those two two measurements so for the Americans and Canadians it would be three inches approximately I'm just guesstimating totally guesstimating but um, in Australia, we did it for, we did it 6.5. And then you just chop it. So you have, have it on the angle like this. It feels a bit awkward because you've got to go over the top of your trimmer. But it works out perfect because that's what you want. You want half a, half a cut. And then all you're going to do, so that's going to make two card bases. And then all you're going to do from here is fold it. Now, for our US, I didn't actually work out what your paper is, where you would score. But you want to divide it by three. I think if we worked out... It's not four inches. Anyway, I'll have a look in a second. <laughs> My brain can't compute yet. <laughs> but in Australia, we did it at 9.9. .9. Australia, UK, anyone that uses A4 cardstock, do it 9.9 .9 and then fold over and do it 9.9 .9 there as well. Make sure that you're using your scoring tool, not your cutting tool. And that is it, my friends. We have a Z fold card. Can you believe it? That's how easy it is. Although I like it folding. You can do two different folds. I like it like that where it's at the front although <laughs> look what's showing up look what's look what's showing its little face I'm gonna cut it off a bit <laughs> we could trim we could trim him off because you know as I said it really doesn't matter about the height of the card it's just your scoring that's the key to getting it straight 
So maybe some clever um, US and Canadian peeps, you can work out what is a third of your paper so that it would fold evenly into thirds. What's your, what's the length of your, the longest part of your cardstock? How many inches? I think it's an eight and a half by 11. So what's 11 divided by three? That's what your score lines will be. Do you like me? I'm like handballing the math over to all of you. <laughs> Kylie and math, we know, do not go together. <laughs> so here we go. We've got that one. This is already looking so dramatic and beautiful. Now, what I thought was cool with this, oh, we need, need to cut down a few of these papers. So, basically, I, I found with this width, the best width was about 9.5 centimetres. So, I just wanted to give it a bit of a border. So, let's find the piece that I want to use at the front. Yes, this one here. So, I'm going to cut that down to 9.5 to give it the border that I need and keep all of these pieces like I showed you with that little note card they're going to come in handy now this is the part where you kind of like eyeball it there's there's no real measurements to this other than what you can do is stick it down and then flip it over and do a chop with your scissors or with your trimmer but what I liked with my card was giving a little bit of a border on both sides. Like I didn't want a border here, but not here. Um, or a border on this edge and not on the top or the bottom. Because you could, you could actually do that. Actually, that would be a simple way to overcome that. Yeah, that's actually, that actually would look very nice doing it from edge to edge. It wouldn't be edge to edge here, but I think that still looks good. But if you did decide you wanted an edge on both sides, all I did was just lift it to where I wanted it and then doubled it so that the edge here is compensating for where this edge here is going to be. And then I turned it over and used the trimmer and, ch and chopped it. Just so that when you do glue, glue it down, you just move it down and then there'll be a little edge at the top there for you. So I will do that actually, because it does look really nice when you frame it. But if you don't want to muck around, then just do it directly to the base and then just chop it on this side here and you'll have this beautiful border. But let's do it like this where I, sh I leave a little border and just make sure it's as straight as you can get. And then I just feed it into the trimmer and just line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. The key is trying not to chop your cardstock. That's your only goal, really. Because if it's not completely spot on, then that's okay. See how here? Oh, that's pretty spot on. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> of course, when I don't mean to, to do it straight, <laughs> it turns out straight. And then it has this really nice little border. See how it fits perfectly? Because I'd given it space before I chopped it. So that's how you do that piece. And then what's really cool with this is if you wanted to, you can do a smaller piece. Like I've, I can use this piece here for a sentiment. And then you can come in here with this piece and use it up here. Isn't that cool? And then all of a sudden, all of these lines are actually doing the work for you. I love it. But just keep in mind, if you do the sentiment here, that it's going to flow on over here, which is fine. And we can decorate this little section in here. It kind of continues on. So it really is completely up to you how you do this card. Um, but what's really cool is you can decorate even the top section here and stick down little pieces along the edge. Um, I saw some do flowers and they stuck them along the edge and it looked like this like cascading of flowers which is really nice. So we'll just stick those two down and then I'll stick down the middle one too because I know what paper I'm using there. In actual fact this one I might keep because um, I want to do a full a full one here 
but if you wanted to you could do another piece here that's whisper white and then have a little extra piece oh who's talking Just to me tick. i don't know what she's doing <laughs> siri, siri go away <laughs> So if we do, I think if we do the middle section here, where have I got it here? I've got them pre-cut everywhere. Not those. Did I pre-cut the inside piece? I thought I did. I'm going to have a look here and see what this, oh yeah, that's the piece. I'm going to use that there so that we can do our sentiment in that piece. Good. So I do like that when you start chopping, it kind of all starts, I don't know, coming together on its own without you having to cut too much. And I love all of these lines and pieces all over the place. I'm just going to show you the, the set that goes with this beautiful paper. Um, where have we got it here? Floating? No, no. What's this one? As I said, winging it. Simply succulent? No. Ah, handsome suits. Handsomely suited. That's it there. And where's the handsomely suited dies? So adorable. There they are. Oh, that's the, oh my goodness, I so need to get my eyes checked. <laughs> I love that. Park your stamps and dies. I like that, Melanie. That's really good. And Selena said three, three and two thirds. That's really good, Selena. Thank you for doing that measurement for us. So that's where you'd score it. You're the best, Selena. Oh, I think I found them. Yay! I should have just turned it around and looked at it. <laughs> so this is where it's really, really cute. So I could see us um, doing the you're the best or to one of the world's greatest dads. So cool. And then we've got these cute little bow ties that I can use. Yeah, really cute. And if we wanted to, we could even dress it up so that it looked like a little pocket so it looks like a like a an actual suit which would be a lot of fun so lots of ideas that you could do with this card especially masculine cards are really challenging so it's great to have something like this now I'll do this one here did I cut this down I feel like I cut oh maybe I didn't cut this no I didn't because I don't have any scrappy bits anywhere so I definitely didn't. Now I'm just going to cut it at 9.5 because I kind of know that that's what I want. And I only want one of them. So this is going to be for in here. And this is what I'm going to actually use to write on for the card, which will be a lot of fun. And then we'll stick that down. Well, remember we need to do our little lining up here. So just line it up so that you've got double the amount of space this is this is eyeballing at its best turn it over and cut that if you think of another way totally do it this is how we were all winging it on Sue's class <laughs> we were just making it up as we go and you could do stamping on here you don't have to do designer series paper but I just I love that it um, goes so well with Love It, Chop It, and that you can use this gorgeous paper in such a fun way. There we go. Line that up. And then this little piece that we've got here, if we wanted to, there's probably somewhere that we could line that up. So as you can see, things just start sort of lending themselves to doing things. And then these strips that we've got left over, 
we can use that as a little lineup. So it's really, it's just really fun card. Like as you start chopping, it all starts coming together. So we'll do that because I think that's really fun. Although, do we want to put a sentiment in there? No, I think we'll do it on the front. Let's, let's just put as much as on a serious paper as we can on this thing. <laughs> let's use it all up. So that there. Just make sure it's lined up okay. Yep. And then chop this at 9.5. And put that on just to cover because it might look a little bit funny with this line here. I mean, it's not bad, but I think it's nice just to add, add a bit of an extra layer in there because why not? We've got it there. Awesome. And it kind of looks like we could even put a little bow tie on there because that would be covered behind there. That would be fun, wouldn't it? So it's almost got the idea of... <laughs> Look how cute that is. And we could do... Maybe even the grey one. There's the little bow tie. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I haven't even been checking um, comments. I've been having fun playing here. So what else do we want? I think if I do something in the background here, maybe we can use the grey. <gasps> yeah, let's do that one. So we want this to be 9.5. That will be a beautiful layer. I wonder if this is smoky slate or basic grey. Let's have a look. Well suited. Basic grey. Ooh, it's got Cajun craze in it. Knight of Navy, Pacific Point, Poppy Parade. Oh, no, smoky slate is here as well. So it could be... I think it's a little bit darker than smoky slate, though. Mm, maybe not. Maybe it is smoky. So that's ready to go. And again, we'll just eyeball the double double room here and then flip it over the reason I like to flip it over is just so I can really see exactly where I need to cut I feel like I can see it better when I do it like that come in here a bit there we go Oh, yes. See, as you can see, you can start putting sentiments in here. It's just so much. It's such a fun card. I can't believe I've never tried it before. And then we tried to see who the original person was, and it like goes back to the 80s or something. <laughs> oh, the bin. I haven't gone through the bin, but I think that's what I'm going to do today. I'll go through the bin. Check all of them. I was hoping it would turn up before I had to go through the bin. Oh, I love that. Yes. And what are we going to do on this side? <clears throat> I think we'll bring in we'll bring in some of the beautiful um, basic grey or smoky slate, whatever it is, <laughs> whichever one it is, because <clears throat> I really like this one. Keep all your pieces and then again we want to line it up so that it's double yep that looks good stay in place little one and then chop it If you needed to, you could always, like once you've done the first cut, so this one here, I feel like it's not enough. 
Never enough. So I can just come back in because I've already done the cart. I know where I'm, I know what direction I'm going in. So it sort of gives me that first cut, which now it's perfect. So it's just, yeah, I find that's the easiest way with this card. But you might come up with your own little idea that works for you. Perfect. And then our back piece, I think I want to do the same as this. I want that one. Or any other one that could be exciting maybe we could use this one here bring in another one <laughs> bring in bring in another piece <laughs> no i think we'll stick with that <laughs> we'll stick with what we've got so far <laughs> yeah or if we wanted to actually we could even use that um grid piece i'm going to do that one because um what do I need? Oh, that's all right. I don't need that one. Because that could give us another piece, another place to write on as well. And then again, lift it up to double. And choppy, choppy. So what do you think? Do you think you'll give this card a try. I hope I've explained it okay to you. Probably the main thing is just that first diagonal bit that I was like so confused about. Let me just cut a little bit more. But I think it's such a fun card to make especially with the designer series paper but if you really wanted to like before you stick down the designer series paper yeah you, know, you can add all sorts of different things in here you can add little layers in here that sort of stick down before you put the paper. Um, you could even do some cutting, you know, the, the um, little framelits, the edgelets, you could use those along the edge. Some of the girls did that and it looked absolutely fantastic. Um, so there was, yeah, a lot of really cool ideas that um, everyone thought of. So let's see at the front here. I think if we do, let's have a look here. I feel like I want to do a little pocket because I think that will make it quite cute and masculine. And maybe we can do the bow tie up there. So it almost has like the idea of, it being a shirt. What do you reckon everyone? You like that idea? I, I think that's really cute. We've got, what else have we got here? We've got a little buttons. Do little buttons there. They're so cute. Maybe put them on there. Actually, I could do little buttons on the on the pocket. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And then, how will this little bow tie look? Yeah, that will look really cute sitting up there. Let's do that. Let's do that then. So I think with this one, we'll do it in. I want it to be a contrasting colour. I think I might do it in... Uh, I don't... Oh, no, I do like that. We'll do it in this colour. What do you reckon? Does that look good? Or we could do it in a completely different one. What's this one here? Because that one's really fun too. 
we could do it in this, which would actually be super cute. Yeah, that's it. Yippee. And I'm going to do it in the pocket as well. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you tell when I, when I find something and I'm like, yeah. That's exactly what I want to do. And I think this one here, I might do... Anyway, we'll have a look. We'll play with both. So what I'd like to do, even though I've used a bit of this, I'm still going to cut this down at 10 centimetres. Although... Oh, no, it's this side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I can use that whole sheet. Good. Because it is a, it's pretty much a front, that one. But every piece of this is going to get kept. So... Do not despair. Nothing will be wasted in this household. <laughs> Nothing gets wasted around here. And I think if I do, anyway, we'll have a little play of the buttons. I think I might do them in basic grey. Maybe we can use this little scrap piece here. That would be fun. So we'll bring those in. I'll bring in the, bring in my skim. <laughs> I'll bring in the skim. There we go. Just zoom out a little bit for you. And we can do this one here. Does that fit in? Yes, it does. And this one here with the buttons. There we go. This is going to look so adorable. Whee! Let's have a looky. Ooh, these are very little. Where's the other piece? <laughs> it's already lost. <laughs> Is it still in here? No. That's <laughs> so funny that one's already gone. That They are very tiny. They are super cute. Let's see if we can find the other circle. This is, they're going to be perfect with the take your pick tool. No. Can't see it. Although, if I have a look at this, I think I'll probably end up just using four buttons anyway. Because I don't usually have six. Yeah, I'll just use four. I think that's more, more what we have here. I'll just have to be mindful that the pattern... Well, actually, if it's a little bit skew if it will work well. Yep. I'm happy with four. That's so funny that one jumped out somewhere. It's gone. It's gone to live with the other stamp set that's gone missing. <laughs> Go be friends, you two. We might even use the other side randomly. Oh, I found it. He's turned up. Not the stamp set, but the... <laughs> I want to find I want to find the missing stamp. <laughs> it makes me so sad when I lose a stamp set. And I haven't done it for a very long time. So it was like I was searching every I was crawling around on the floor. I had my my new light on my phone. I'm like, come on, my new phone light will find it. Even went to the the couch. <laughs> I was searching all in the grooves and finding tissues. <laughs> <laughs> now, where did my card go? Oh, there it is. So let's have a bit of fun here and see what this looks like. Oh my goodness, this is so stinking adorable. But is it enough? Yes, I think it is. Oh, yes. You know what I am going to do, though? I am going to sponge the edges because I want it to define. I feel like it's a little bit, it's a little bit lost in there. 
So I'm just going to define it with, I could probably even use, anyway, I'll use my sponge daubers because you can use your blending brushes, but I think for this type of thing, the daubers are better. Good on your daubers. And so what you can do, just to give it a bit of definition along the edge, nice little technique that's very simple to do and it's just flick 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 and it gives it that um edging appearance yes and then this one has got these beautiful little grooves in there that you probably can pick up once you sponge it. Isn't that fun? And then in the middle here, I'm just gonna sponge that to make that a little bit defined. Put it down here. It can be very light on this. So it almost gives it the definition of the little knot bit. Yes, that's exactly what it needed. So, and then these will come in. I'm actually going to do the buttons. Should I do them the same? Yeah, I'm going to do them like that, that way. I'm just going to do the two. So that's going to, yeah, I think there. And then if we have like a sentiment, yeah, think up in the corner there. Perf. What do you reckon? It's on the top plate. Thanks, Denise. You knew. <laughs> I should have. I should have come back to you, Denise. <laughs> Um, now I've got dimensionals here, so we'll stick that down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah, I think I'm swapping it. I'm totally swapping it. <laughs> I've been waiting for you all. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so cute. Yeah. It's the piece of resistance. Ah, it's so cute. Isn't it interesting how you, you just have to keep playing around with it? And I don't think we even need our little buttons there now. So maybe we can put... Nah, they disappear on there. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. And I'm going to keep that bow tie, that same colour. And if you wanted to, on the back, well, it's look at that. It's going to look so cute. But we, we could do another one, because this is a good one for this. And then it will be replicated on the other side as well. So it's like when you open it up, you have this cool little display there. What would be interesting to see is if you did use the tie on the inside here, how much would show? Oh yeah, it shows a little bit up the top there. Just. Yeah, so it would need to be about there for it to not show. That's that's kind of a cute idea. You might be able to sort of fold it a bit or something so that you can have a little um, tie in here as well. So fun this set. I really, really like it. You could create your own little, I think these V's, and just be careful when you're taking these off, but you could create like a little V for the... Um, shirt as well but yeah again I'm not sure how that will look <clears throat> poking out the top 
But yeah, I really like this. Just keep playing around with it. But what a fun masculine card. I'm glad we pursued this one. And this I'm just going to stick. Uh, no, I'm going to stick it up with a little mini. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. Because even like a young boy, I could see this for a young boy, a male, like an adult male. I, I even think a teenager would like this card. Like it's really hard to do it for males. And I think you'd get away with a lot of different ages with this one. We should even put a little pocket hanky in there, hey. <laughs> do they have a pocket hanky? Oh, that's what I think this is. Do you reckon that little bit there's a pocket hanky? <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, your red scarf in the pocket. Or red. Oh, there you go. You were thinking the same. I think that, does that look like a pocket hanky to all of you? Yeah, I think it is. I think that's what that is. Anyway, Bruno can teach me which way to go for that one. Because, yeah, I'll end up putting it the wrong way around. <laughs> so cute <laughs> so let's do this one I want to do another cup for that side yes another one of those with the and I'll make sure that this gets put away with this I'm in paranoia mode now because I lost my stamp. And I miss you, stamp. I miss you, miss you, stamp. Do you call that a conundrum? Is that a conundrum? When you when you miss a stamp that says I miss you because you lost it? <laughs> or is that like, isn't it ironic? <laughs> Is it really ironic? <laughs> or just unfortunate? Because it is unfortunate to have rain on you any day. Although, rain brings very good wedding photos. Oh, sorry, I just knocked you out. You're still okay? Yes. Might zoom in a little bit again. Although it was very handy for when I did the big shot. Oh, P.S., these yellow bits. I think I know what... Um, Heidi was asking now. I was like, what is she talking about yellow bits? It's my washi tape. <laughs> is it the top part of the top? Oh, yeah, it is too. We can turn it into a pocket hanky. <laughs> but yeah, it could be that little bit there. Actually, absolutely. Spot on, Karen. We'll just make stuff up. Maybe that could be used, even though I know that that's the collar. Maybe that would be more of a pocket hanky type look. Anyway, you could play around with the shapes in here. I can see people, even these bits here, we could cut that down and make that look like a, yeah. I'm sure we'll think of something. And this one here, we want to be, I'm going to make this one flat. I do want to give this a little bit of um, definition. So what you can do is get your what could we use I think I've got a little oh yes I've got a little tool here from the scoring I don't know where my stampin up one is but I just found chocolates oh my goodness that is dangerous what are they doing in there and they're M&Ms how are they not eaten how is this possible? It's because I didn't know that they were there. Now I'm in trouble. <gasps> Pop. Pretend this is a Stampin' Up! one. I don't know where that one has got. Oh, it's probably still on the scoring tool. But use your, your um, stamp and pierce mat. And you can just do a little bit of an indentation there. 
and it just creates the little circle piece. So I think that it needs it. Probably go from this side actually, because I want it to poke. I want it to pop outwards, not inwards. Oh, yes, that's exactly what it needed. See, when you play with stuff, then you work these things out. Isn't that the cutest? It's exactly what it needed. And I didn't even know it needed it. I was like, I feel like it's missing something that gives it that definition. Can you see it there? Look how cute that looks now. It's sort of like got that popping outy section in the middle. So there you go. Kylie's hot tip for you. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, although I probably am better off putting glue where the bow's going to go because this is raised up, so it's not probably not going to even touch it. That is so cute. Ah! Oh my goodness. I love it. See if we can do it on this side without pulling it off. <laughs> yeah, even that makes a big difference. I was like, it just needs something in the middle there. Yeah. So there you go, people. What do you reckon? I'm going to leave the sentiment off till I work out what I want to do but I think if I put the sentiment where do you think it would be good to go I'm thinking I, I think I might even put the sentiment on the inside rather than covering this that's what I'm vibing and then I can sort of decorate a few more things here I might even use some of these strips here do some scrappies could even do like little diagonal pieces. Oh, I like this idea. See how much fun it is? It's so, it's like, wee! You just keep having fun with it. Good night, Teresa. Oh, you're feeling so it's fun. You could go into your craft room. I'm so excited. It is so much fun when you start creating like this. It really is. It's like, yeah. This is why I love new products. It just brings out this... Brings out the excitement in me. Oh yeah, I like that. So see how I've lined up. Oh, is it mostly lined up? This piece looks like it's different. It must be the other side maybe. Yes. So see how it's three different strips. But see how they line up in colour? Just little things like that that make a really cool difference. We've been watching um, the sewing, the sewing bee. The um... <laughs> yes, it really does. Yeah, on the pocket. Yes, that's so true. Two little triangles cut. Oh yes, that's a good idea. That's the way it would be. I think that would be perfect. Would you use this one, um, Kathy, the, for the triangles? Maybe these bit pieces here. Yeah, I think they would look really, really cute. Or I could actually cut triangles by hand. <laughs> I know, it's revolutionary, isn't it? <laughs> I could actually just cut it out. <laughs> what? Cut it out? <laughs> could do it from these pieces, although I wouldn't use that one. Probably this side. It would need to be bigger than these pieces, though. What have I got here? <laughs> what have I got over here? Oh, look at this. I found a piece. Found a piece of something. Let's see what this looks like. Just use the edges. I think I've done them too wide. I'm just playing around now. It's just fun. I should I need to Google pocket hanky just to see? I mean, yeah, pocket hankies just to see what they, how they put them on. Because here in Australia, we don't really, we're not smart and sassy dressing like you people from the UK who 
know what pocket hankies are and all the rest of it. But anyway, I'll have a play of that. I think it needs to sit something like that, but I'll need to cut off the edges. So I'll have some fun putting some, <laughs> putting some little, <laughs> yeah, because if I do it like, yeah, I think something like that, where it's like dual, although they probably need to be similar, similar ratio. <laughs> Look at me, I'm like, I've got no idea what a pocket hanky looks like. And Fredo wears them like fairly often too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Sally. So Sally has said, and that is spot on. So we've thought of an alternative, but Sally is correct in saying that this is for the little bow. <laughs> good one, Sally. See, this is why I do crafting with you girls, because we just, you know, you teach me everything. Let's do a couple of them, because that will look really, really cute. And then we'll cut some of these diagonals. We're just having a bit of fun here, aren't we? We're just, we're just playing with new product. <laughs> Let's have a play. Thanks, Sally. That's a really good one. Oh, my goodness, on the magnet at the bottom of the Stamparatus. <laughs> so annoying when you lose things in the craft room and you just think where on earth did that go which did, did it literally get legs and walk away but anyway at least if you don't feel like cutting out these little bits here you can do the little additional embossing of your own but i like this idea Put that down there and that down there. And have a look at this. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And you know what? Even with this, I wouldn't mind giving it that same treatment. Just so that it has that sort of popped out look to it. And then put a little mini dimensional behind it. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. Good one, Sally. That was a good one. You're all smart little cookies. I tell you what. Let's put that behind there. So I feel like if I use some Tombow, it won't grab it. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Ah! Two mountains. Oh yes, good. Let's do another one. Where did my other one go? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> where's it gone? <laughs> you were just here. <laughs> I was like, look how organized I am. And no, it's not on the top, I promise. This is me creating for reals. Well, you know, it's me creating all the time. You've seen it. You've seen it for your own eyes. <laughs> It's going to be here somewhere. <laughs> oh, maybe at the bottom of this. No. <laughs> it's gone. Let's cut another one. I've got a little scrap piece here for it. Good thing it's so easy just to pull out my stamp and cut and emboss machine. <laughs> it's like, wee, just cut another one. No. Gone. Got legs, walked away. <laughs> there we go. Let's bring it up again. There must be a postie here. The doggies are going crazy. So cheeky. Look how easy that is. See? We don't have to stress about it. Oh, the suspenders. Oh, how cute. 
Is that what they are? Oh my goodness, I had no idea. Thank you. You girls are amazing. That's this one here, hey? So this section here is the suspenders. I wonder what that was for. So you can have them coming over like that on each side. That's really cute. That would actually look really cute. I wonder if you could do it from this side even and have them on each side so that it's like an accent but also suspenders at the same time. <laughs> this is so fun, this set. I'm glad we pulled this out. Good choice, everyone. <laughs> I don't think I gave you a choice. I think I was like, I'm doing the, <laughs> I'm doing the, the masculine one. <laughs> There we go. I think this is going to be the piece of resistance. Ah, oh, look at this. <laughs> it's so cute. It makes me want to cry. It's so cute. Oh, this is so adorable. I love this set. <gasps> Do we want to go this way? Oh my goodness. That will go grey. That's really cute as well. But I do like the grey better. The smoky slate or the basic grey, whatever it is. <laughs> I haven't worked it out yet. I really love doing the um the embossing to that though, like the to make it pop out. It looks so cute. You could totally even do that to the pocket around the edges if you wanted to create that sort of texture of pockets. They have buckle things that go on the bottom. Look at you girls. That's That must be these here. Is that this one? I have to do all my research on what these things are. Because I know that that's called the... Um, is it the placket? Placket. Pla <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> We've been watching Zoe V and I'm like, ah, oh, I've heard that word before. Otherwise, I would literally have no idea. Oh, yeah, these clips. Here they are. So they must go maybe like that. So I'll have to, yeah, work those out too. I'm going to have to get a lesson in men's UK fashion. And then that's for the top of the tie. We've worked that out. And that's for the bow tie. This is really cool, this set. I'm loving it. Jump it. Put that there. Take a photo first, please, people, because, you know, in typical, usual fashion, now I can't put anything back again. <laughs> it's like, where, where did it all fit? <laughs> this fit in here before <laughs> I'm sure it fit <laughs> there we go <laughs> we, we made it fit <laughs> so there we go I am so excited by this I mean this clearly is going to keep developing as I go along um, but I think that this is super duper cute and just keep in mind too that you can always stamp your your um bow tie as well if you wanted to on but i love it with the dsp i really do um but yeah we can play around with some of this let's do some of the um strips actually why not why not while we're here <laughs> i was gonna do the strips i can do it on this section if i follow the the gradient of this one something like that Yep, I do like that because see how this is following this little gradient here. And then if I do put a sentiment here, it's going to ground the sentiment as well, which is nice. And then we'll put some on the other side as well. But as you can see, this 
fun fold is just so much fun. You can make it whatever you want. And even the fact that it's perfect for masculine is really awesome. So we've got that one. I'll glue that down now and then we'll do the inside as well. And maybe to keep the theme, I might just do some straight lines on the inside. Yep. Super cute. And we can do some down here. We'll just do these two, I think. But I'll line it up so that, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I like that. So this one here, I think I'm better off chopping it together like this. So we'll do a bit of surgery so that these line up perfectly together. Oh, look at that surgery. <laughs> And then come in here as though these are conjoined twins and do it at 9.5. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit from the trimmer because I just, I want it to, I don't want it to grab. It can hold it. And I find going downwards is actually, you've got more control when you're doing things like that. And then we'll come in with those two. Give me little ones. And put those strips here. Just for a little, little bit of an accent there. Oh, I really like that. That looks fun. Well, thank you for joining me. This has been a lot of fun. I've genuinely really enjoyed playing around with these new products and as you can see i am not the oracle of all knowledge so i really appreciate all of your help teaching me new things i love that i get on here live and then you all teach me how to do things <laughs> so good See, we're a true community of people that help each other craft and get the most out of our new products. Oh, I love that. Isn't that fun? In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring them together and create a new pattern. We've created a new pattern, people. We've gone in here. We've thrown this pattern on its head. So if you wanted to, you could play around with this and make all these cool patterns. Isn't that fun? Just by like lining it up with different shapes. See, look at that. Oh, we want it that side. If it doesn't line up with the colors, just flip it. Isn't that fun? That's really cool. I like doing that. That's, that's actually a really cool tip. But then if you go down here, you can extend it downwards. But then up here, you're flipping it. Very cool. Let's have a bit of fun with that too. So there you go, my lovelies. That's our fun little card for today. I think I might have to send it to my dad. What do you reckon? Just say, hey, dad. Thinking of you. He's doing really well, by the way. A few of you have been asking about him. He's doing excellent, in fact. He's got his own... Um, his own sort of automatic um, it dispenses his wheelchair so that he can get out and about. So he just puts his wheelchair on the top of the car and then it, it's a little contraption, electronic contraption that pulls out the wheelchair. And yeah, he's been off. He goes down to the beach and does his exercise and he's, yeah, he's doing really well. Yeah, it does look like treads. So what do we think? We're happy with that? I'm really happy with this. And I think we could totally go to town and even add more. 
add buttons, add, <laughs> you can really, like suspenders, add a tie in there. I think this is a lot of fun, this card. Even the back, if you wanted to, you could decorate that whole thing with, with a tie and tuxedo and, oh, it's just fun. This is a perfect card for this sort of thing. So I love the little pocket. So cute. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad, Carol. Thank you. I have a lot of fun creating, I must say. And all of you helped me so much. So thank you very much for help. Ready? I'll go over this side a bit. <laughs> Yay. It's so cute. Hey, I think Dad would love that too. <laughs> Super cute. Yes, stinking cute. Oh, you almost lost your dad this month, Karen. That's so bad. It's so stressful when they're not well. Yeah. You could make your own pattern. Oh, this is your first time watching, Carol. Oh, I didn't realise that. I just saw your comment. So, yeah. I'm really, really excited. Thank you so much to Sue, my fellow team member who introduced this amazing fun fold card to me. Um, if it wasn't for our Crazy Crafters live um, Zoom events, then I wouldn't even know about this card, I don't think. I don't think I would even attempt it. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun and a really cool way to... Have a lot of fun. I hope you try it. Let me know if you try it because it's, it's really cool. And if you're wanting these brand new products, remember, Tuesday in Australia. You can add it to, your, to even to your starter kit as well. And you get, I think people think you get your kit is already chosen, but it's not. So you pay $169, but you can choose $235 of anything that you want. So that's really good. Yeah. So thank you all for being here. I'm going to go drop in and see my team this afternoon and say g'day to them. And I think we'll be doing a catalogue walkthrough together next week sometime. Probably catch up on Zoom. So we have lots of exciting things ahead and we'd love you to come and join us. If you live in Australia, you can come and join our team and be part of all the fun. But have an awesome, awesome creative week ahead. Um, we appreciate your support so much. Um, today I'm going to be working on our tutorial bundle, which is a video tutorial bundle, by the way. And I'll be making um, a project with the uh, Artistry Blooms, which was the one that Brenna's like, make it with the Artistry Blooms. <laughs> so I still might end up doing that for next week's um blog hop that we do together so you might see another one of these fun folds you'll be like oh my goodness all she does now is fun folds <laughs> i'll be addicted for a little while <laughs> oh thank you for being here to craft with me hopefully some of you were crafting along and we will definitely catch up soon hopefully we might end up doing a zoom event or something like that for a bit of fun just to catch up with all of you in the flesh and see all your beautiful faces in your pajamas. <laughs> but have an awesome, awesome week. And we look forward to seeing you next week for our blog hop with the tutorial bundle. And um, if you wanted any of our tutorials at all, we have quite a number there. And we base them on um, sweets. So it's a great way to get... Um, lots of ideas and suggestions. Um, I'll just pop it on here. Tute link. So, yeah, sometimes we just need a little bit of help with our mojo. So, oh, thanks, Wurgy. Oh, thank you. I'm glad 